All right. So videos, um, as we go back and look at the resources for today, um, one of the other other things is you're you know thinking about videos is you know it does take practice um and so that's why i wanted you to get in while we were together so that you had that opportunity to to do a little bit of of practicing um other things how do you help your learners watch videos and this is one of the things some of the schools i work with are great and do a lot of things to, to you know make sure their learners are watching videos and then others are like well they watch videos they watch YouTube all the time they know how to watch videos and <laughs> watching YouTube is not necessarily the same as watching a science lecture or watching an instructional video and so helping our learners to learn how to to watch a video is really important. So there's a couple of different resources that you can use. Um, first of all, guided notes. And so practice with them, use some guided notes, help them know, you know, we need to stop and start the video again, stop and take some notes and start it again. And that it's okay to rewatch videos and rewatch sections of videos that you don't get. But that needs to be practiced, which I know, I mean, we you know, we, we've been learning things all summer and we know, but <laughs> our students don't necessarily know that, especially if they're not motivated. I see, you know, a lot of students that will do, you know, any, you know, they'll, they'll watch YouTube all day long to figure out how to get to the next level on their video game. But when it comes to, you know, figuring out math, <laughs> I'll just wait till I come to class. So just practice with our learners so even though if you're making videos or using videos in your in your online classes helping them um, with that practice is, is so important so we talk about notes um, one of the things that that I've 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 experienced personally, and I know I've had a number, I did a, a seminar with a, with a group of about 40 teachers about note taking and they said they'd never been taught how to take notes in most of their, you know, most of their experience. It wasn't something that they knew and they had to kind of really learn, especially once they hit college. And so having a strategy for your students as they're taking notes is, is, is really critical. One of the tools that I really like is Cornell Notes because it's, it's a structure. Um, if you've taken the flipped classroom, you'll, you'll see um, there's lots of resources. This is one of the resources we talk about. Um, the Cornell note taking system is one that there's a Q column on the left, there's the note taking column in the center, and then I love at the bottom there is the summary. And so you summarize your video or summarize what you've watched. So a lot of teachers will require that this is what the students turn in when they are done watching a video to kind of like prove that they watched the video, but also to help them build those skills. Uh, this is fits in really well for guided because the Q column, you could fill in the Q column for them so that as they're taking the notes, you know, they kind of have an idea where they need to be. And the summary, oh my gosh, who doesn't think summarizing after you've listened to a lecture or been in class isn't a good idea. So it's just all of those things that you can you can put together there. So Cornell Notes is one of the options. Um, another really cool option is your sketch notes. And I, I love sketch notes. I can't do them live, but they are something that I can do after a session and, you know, kind of really put my thinking down. And so that's another way that students may really like to share their knowledge. And then finally, graphic organizers. And Ditch That Textbook is amazing, you guys. And so don't recreate the wheel. Look on Ditch That Textbook site. And he's been up and down the last couple of weeks just because I think he's been hammered. Um, everybody's been using his site. But on his site, he has a number of amazing templates. Yeah, he can't be reached this morning. Darn it. Um, including a template for Cornell Notes. Um, he also has lots of different um, graphic organizers there. And his, his site is, it's, it's, he's just been up and down. I'm sure he's, he's busy today. Um, how do we assess what our learners know when they watch a video? Uh, a lot of um, 
teachers are doing a couple things, especially keeping it in Google Classroom. Like a lot of people have used Edpuzzle because you can embed, but if you're trying to keep everything in Google Classroom, um, one of my favorite ways is to embed it as a question. And so if we go in and create a question, we can now say, you know, I can ask a question about my video, you know, what was the main point of the video? Um, I can, you know, say respond to the question and then respond to two classmates. Um, I can add a video and in this situation I'm just going to search and so I'm going to look for Google Classroom. Most of the time I have a video already in hand but here I'm just going to use this video. I'm going to add it. So now, so now um, when I'm looking at this video, I have options, or when I'm looking at this question, I have options. It's a short answer question. Um, I could also make it be multiple choice, but I want it to be short answer because I want the students to, to type something in. Um, I'm going to make this one ungraded for you guys. I'm not going to give it a due date for you guys, but I am going to go down here. I'm going to drop it under the topic for our blended. And then I'm also going to allow students to reply to each other. One of the things that I love about the question is if you've checked this, students can reply to each other. They need to respond before they can see other other responses. They need to respond before they can see other um, student responses. And so I love that. So as we're rolling through, um, I'm going to say, okay, I'm going to ask this assignment. So this is going to post on your assignments page and it's going to post down under our blended. And so what was the main point of the video? We have a question. I can click on my three dots and copy the link and I can paste it into I can paste it into our chat so that you guys can get to it that way. So one of the things that I know, um, one of the things that I know that can happen is when you're doing the question, it's very confusing for teacher, for students the very first time. Um, because when we're looking at that, it shows up um, in their work bubble, but the class comments are below it. And so a lot of times you'll, you'll think you should comment in the class comments. So let's see, who's just, would somebody be willing to share their screen real quick so we can see what the question looks like um, for the student from the student side? Sure, I can do that quick. Awesome. Thanks, Kelly. So if you want to narrow down, there you go. Yeah, perfect. So what's the main point of the video? View question. And then you're going to see in the upper right there is your answer okay and so if you want to just you don't have to watch the video I trust you <laughs> I know you're gonna go back and do it <laughs> and so turn it in now you're going to see at the top you see, well, below that you see your classmates' answers and also at the top of the screen you see your classmates' answers. And so now you can go in and actually see your classmates' answers. I um, mean, I think you are the first overachiever, yes. So you're the first one to respond. But if, as other students respond, they will, they will show up. And so this can be a really great way to not only make sure that students have watched a video, but you can also pose some discussion questions and have that discussion start to populate. So 
Um, but, but one of the confusing things, if you want to go back to your answer, I think, if you click on your answer, yeah, um, is making sure that the students do the answer bubble on the upper right hand side of the screen versus class comments because many times they'll just they'll type something in class comments and think that they've they've answered your question but thank you so much for sharing your screen i appreciate it you got it you guys are so cool all right so but so that is one way that we can we can see what our learners have done and then in forms and quizzes um and did you guys go through forms and quizzes last week yes no in the chat Okay, um, so we'll make sure we touch on that um, tomorrow then. We will, we will talk about forms and quizzes because um, in forms and quizzes, you can embed a YouTube video, um, but you also with the required questions can make sure that your students um, answer those questions before they move on. And so there's a couple of different ways that you can do that. Um, can you lock out the class comments to keep the students on the answer section only? Unfortunately, no. Let me look into that because I know I can lock out class comments on the stream, but I don't think I can lock out class comments on the assignments. And so that, and that's just, it's more of a learning opportunity, I think, you know, once because I like having the class comments on an assignment. I use them extensively um, to help have that conversation and keep, keep the, you know, kind of keep everything together. But I will look and see and get back to you on that one tomorrow, okay? All right, and we are almost out of time, so we will keep rolling. So um, tomorrow we'll come back and we'll look at some of the Jamboard and those types of things in terms of how we can bring in that collaboration and also um, the next the next level um, in terms of sharing content and everything. Um, so tomorrow we are back at, let's see, you guys are back tomorrow um, at 8. And then also 1030. So yeah, you have two, two hours tomorrow. Um, and we'll be doing the great online sessions, which this carries into really well. And we'll dive into some more Zoom and set up and interactivity too. So thank you so much for an awesome morning. I really enjoyed working with you. And it's, it's really good to, good to get a chance to, to work with you. Thanks, guys.